Right, for January, vlog number five. This will be a quick one uh, because there's not as much to say. I'm on holiday on tomorrow, Sunday for a week and I won't be vlogging and I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna turn off my phone, all of that kind of stuff uh, so yeah, I can chill. Now I'm going to Italy. Now notoriously in an Italian ski resort, um, trying to stick to a vegan diet, I don't think will be easy. So I'm gonna try and do what I can, but I'm not gonna put the pressure on myself to turn up at a restaurant and be like, oh yeah, I'll have a pizza with just tomato sauce, please. It's not gonna happen. Um, so I am gonna enjoy myself, like I'm, I'm just gonna put that out there right now, uh, but I'm gonna do what I can. I'll make, we're in self-catering, so um, I'll be, be cooking my own breakfasts. I just generally have something in my pocket for lunch while I'm out on the slopes, and then in the evening we'll go out for dinner. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Now what I'm looking forward to is I've uh, got a load of information that I've been put onto uh, Deliciously Ella, had a chat with her this week, a uh, podcast coming this Thursday, and she put me onto Joseph Paul's work, uh, which is a new 2018 research paper, Reducing Foods, Environmental Impacts Through Producers and Consumers. Um, I'm halfway through it, really interesting. I'm gonna pick, I've got some more info to read while I'm away. Uh, it is the most fascinating side of plant-based nutrition for me at the moment is the environmental impact, like, the future, uh, which is why I'm doing a talk on the 29th of f January uh, in London. If you'd like to attend, it's only 20 quid and it includes dinner. Um, and I've brought together four people, the vegan coach, Stephanie from Mindful Bites and Mitch from Mitch's Kitchen. And we're going to do a panelist discussion for nearly two hours on all of the topics that I think are really important in plant-based nutrition at the moment. The health and performance side of things, the sustainability side of things, the ethical side of things, everything. Um, I don't have a bias going into this. I don't want the outcome to be one way or the other. I'm gonna sit there with a group of people and say, hey, there's loads of stuff here that I'm exploring. I wanna know, I think people wanna know. And I've, I've brought together people that I think have been on a really good journey themselves. They look at the data, they look at things critically, they're not just blinded by bias. Uh, so seven to 9 p.m. on the 29th of January, we'll be doing that. It'd be amazing if you could come along to get some support, generate more conversation around this. I think it'll be a great evening. Everyone gets fed, everyone gets a goodie bag. It's only 20 quid, it's an absolute bargain. It pretty much just co covers what we're trying to do for the event. Um, anyway, uh, I talked in previous vlogs about kind of losing a bit of strength in the gym. Um, I am due a rest in my programming in the gym. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if I take a week off, which I'm gonna, um, apart from the snowboarding, you know, do I come back into the gym? Do I feel a little bit different? I was training last night, and the only way I can describe the feeling of me training in the gym at the moment is um, I kind of get like, you know, let's say I was gonna do 15 reps of something. I get to rep like nine, 10, and it feels like all the glycogen's dropped out of my muscles. It's not an, a feeling I'm familiar with. It's not like that generalized fatigue feeling. It's not particularly a loss of strength. It's like my energy just goes vroom, and the last like third of a set that I would usually do without, out, without any problems and just encounter muscular uh, fatigue, yeah, I just struggle with it. So I'm really interested to see if I just need a rest or if it's my diet having an impact. Um, something I've remembered, I've actually been getting a little bit more cramping than I usually would. It's only very minor, it's only a little bit, but it's something I'm aware of. So at some point in the future, I'm gonna try and uh, have a look at what's happening with my electrolytes and stuff. It's not something that I've invested the time in yet. I know that I will be exploring plant-based nutrition, this argument, this conversation, well beyond January. Um, like, just having January to look at this whole movement and what people are talking about and the rationale, it's just not long enough. Like, you know, doing all this on top of my, you know, day job and doing the reading and the research and the listening to people and the podcast and traveling to London and speaking to different people, it's not a quick process. So it's not something that, trust me, I'll get to January the 31st and I'll be like, right, the January's over, like I'm gone, I'm, I'm you know, back to my old diet. Um, it, it's, the conversation is gonna continue, I'm fascinated by it. Anyway, uh, I'm off on holiday, I'm off snowboarding, can't wait, hope there's plenty of snow. Um, if you wanna come to the event on the 29th in London, that'd be amazing. Um, it's all over social media, I've emailed it out, it's in our Facebook groups, if not, message me, I'll send you the link. Anyway, ciao, I'm out.